Hi, welcome everybody to a new video tutorial of the Architects Notes. Today we're going to see how to measure the area of multiple polylines uh, combined like this. This is very useful when you are calculating uh, different areas, for example, of the same type of room in a big project, for example area total area of back of house or total area of uh, public spaces or private spaces all that kind of stuff the normal way of just calculating or measuring an area is you just select the rectangle you control one and here in properties you have the area um, if like me you don't use the properties tab because you're working in full screen mode and you want to have a bigger screen whatever you can just type area and then select one of these options and do it I always used area object O or OB and select the rectangle and you there you have it thousand thousand or if you click here oh, thousand um, the problem comes when we want to calculate different areas at the same time so imagine that these are rooms of, of the same project um, and I want to calculate imagine coming back to to that back of house example that I was saying uh, that I want to calculate this 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 and these areas combined so if I want to do it like area object as I was doing and as I've done for years and I select object you would have to just select the first rectangle see the area write it down somewhere do the same here blah 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 right um, if otherwise you do area and then you do the add area option a enter you can do this and it's okay and it's a perfect solution and then type enter and then the next one okay enter again then the last rectangle here and the last one this small one here imagine that for whatever reason I've measured already and I've added to the area a hundred rectangles because the project is very big or yeah I'm working very fast and suddenly I enter, I type again enter for, yeah, I don't know, I'm working fast, I type again enter after a hundred uh, rectangles. I lose it. I lose it forever. I have it here. I have it here, I think. Uh, well, actually, I don't know if this is the number. Is this the number? Yes, this is the number. 11,000 okay so this is the combined area of these ones but as I said if I had done a hundred rectangles rooms in different places you don't remember where they were which ones you calculated etc and you have to start again the way of doing this is super simple and I, I discovered it after years and years of using AutoCAD but if you learned AutoCAD by yourself the same way as I did uh, these things happen. Uh, you learn your ways, you work and you keep working and then you're okay with that. It's your workflow and and you are missing more optimized ways of, of working. So I learned this after a few years and it's just by doing a hatch. So you just select hatch and you and you have here a hatch. It has to be one not separated as so if I go to hatch edit yeah this has to be one so this if they are separated of course you're not gonna have anything but if they're one single hatch and we go to properties we also have the combined area here this is great because now I can do the same so if you're calculating different type of rooms for example MEP imagine this is MEP in red and this is uh, this is I don't know 
uh, storage rooms. So then you know that your storage rooms are 12,000 and your MEP rooms are 14,000. 14, um, this is the way. Uh, uh, soon I will upload another video in how to create text and link that text to the areas. So whenever you update the area, the text is updated as, as well. Uh, we will add a parameter and that will come soon again. Um, thank you very much for seeing this video and if you if you liked it, please like and subscribe and I'll keep posting and see you guys in the next video.